the drawing tool. Let's learn how to draw some lines in AutoCAD. But before we get started, let's come to this bottom left corner and look at the status bar. I have some of these icons turned blue and you may too. Let's go ahead and click on those and turn them all off. Don't worry, we'll get to these later and we'll learn what they do. For now, I just want to make sure that your settings are the same as mine so we can learn to draw from the basics. Now let's go ahead and select line from the draw panel. Now when we do so, we look at the command line and it asks us to specify the first point. Let's go ahead and click anywhere on the screen. Once we do so, we see a rubber band line. Now if we go ahead and click again, that specifies the next point that AutoCAD is asking us for and we create the line. Let's go ahead and click around a few more times. This is how you create lines. Let's try and close this line off by clicking at the end of the first line. And now in order to exit the tool, we can go ahead and press the escape key. Let's activate the line tool one more time and let's draw another line. Go ahead and click a few more times. And now this time, instead of trying to close off your shape, an easy way to do this is to select the close icon at the very bottom. This allows AutoCAD to automatically close it for us. Now let's do this one more time again. We'll go ahead and create a line. And another method to close your shape would be instead of left clicking is to right click. Now this brings up a menu and in here we can go ahead and select close. So again we'll go ahead and create a line somewhere here in the middle. But this time as we're making lines let's say we make a mistake. Well if we want to undo the mistake we can go ahead and click undo at the bottom. And this will undo the last point that we specified. And just like before when we found close by a right click we can also find undo within the menu. This will go ahead and undo the last points that we specified. So let's go ahead and click a few more times and then we'll right click and we'll go ahead and close. This is one way how to draw lines by simply using your mouse. Next we'll explore how to use the line command through the command line. Before we continue drawing our lines though, it's getting to look a little bit more cluttered. Let's go ahead and select escape. Make sure we have no tool selected. Now if we left click and drag our window to the left, we can go ahead and select all the items and click erase. This will go ahead and clear the screen for us. Now we go ahead and select the line tool again. At this time, we're going to go ahead and enter a point through the command line. If you select in the command line and if you enter 0, 0 and press enter, that will specify the first point at our origin. Let's move the window a little bit. To do so, hold down your middle mouse button and drag. Now we're centered at the origin and you can see the first point that we entered. Now let's enter another point in the command line. For example, 5, 6 and enter. Let's pan this to see it in the view. So this is a way to enter your points through the command line instead of having to click. And this also allows you to be a little more accurate. Let's go ahead and click one more point and then go ahead and right click to close. Now a convenient way to reactivate the line command instead of opening it from the draw panel is to press the space bar. This relaunches the last command that we used. As you can see the command line is telling us specify first point. Let's go ahead and click a few points again just like we've been doing. And when we're done we can go ahead and press the escape like we've been doing or press the space bar again. The space bar and the enter key both relaunch the last command that you've been using. This helps increase your speed when creating lines or any other objects that we want. Go ahead and press enter and that's how we create our lines. Now if we want to activate the line command through the command line itself, we can go ahead and type the word line and press enter. This activates the line command as well. So if you like mouse clicks, if you like keyboard shortcuts, or if you just like to click on the draw panel, these are various methods for you to activate the line command itself. Let me go ahead and close this last object. And there, we've created some simple objects simply by using the line command.